So, it's the off season, but there's still things we can be talking about. I'm going to do the very original idea of doing a sell or keep. Nottingham Forest edition, of course. I'm not going to do this for, well, any other club because this wouldn't make any sense. I'm going to grade every player who is going to be at the club going into next season, including the players whose contracts have expired, just to kind of bulk out the tier list, but also because they were here very recently. I haven't included the lone players, though, because I don't think anyone's really bothered about that. So then, random order, not looking at the screen. We're going to see who I'm going to go for first. Oh, it's Tyrell Wani. I'm going to say, and this is a tough one, actually. I would love to keep Tyro because it's Tyro. I do apologise that his head's a bit cut off there. That's a terrible choice of photo. I want to keep Owani because he's been so big for us. But also, with the FFP situation, we might be in force to sell somebody, maybe Tyro. I think he'd probably be the most obvious option. I know everyone's going on about selling Murillo and Gibbs White, Hudson and Doi. If you think about it, I know Tyro probably doesn't have the same value because of his injuries and inconsistencies as a result, but on form, he's as good as them. I really think on form, he's as good, or nearly as good at least, to get around that whole loophole having to sell somebody. It would actually be a thing we should do. So I'm going to keep him in keep for now, but I'm... I'm not sure. Omar Richards, you may have forgot he existed, but trust me, he's still here. He just got to a European final and won. So, fair play to him. Definitely keep. I mean, you could loan him out, but if you're thinking about it, left-back situation, you've got Aina there. Obviously, Aina's also a right-back. Toffolo's there too. Who doesn't love Toffolo? But he does also have, obviously, his limits. I think we can agree on that one. I think Richards, of all the players coming back from loan, He's definitely one we should be looking at. Next up, I'm just going to go for the really boring ones first and foremost. No offence to Hawang, but, you know, I don't think you've got a future at Forest. I'll be honest. And that's another thing as well, actually. Think of all the players we've had out on low. If you sell all of those, maybe besides Richards, you can actually get probably quite a decent fee just from those players alone. So, do we even need to sell Murillo or Gibbs White? I I'm just speculating. Hopefully not. Speaking of Gibbs White, let's just do him now. That's not Gibbs White, that's Lloyd Kenby, so we'll do it be so now. I'm going to say contract up because his contract is up. He was at PSG playing with Mbappe and Neymar and he ended up sharing a dressing room at one stage with Harry Arter. His career went downhill, it really did. Speaking of Harry Arter, haven't really got any words for Harry Arter other than what on earth was that all about. Um, Morgan Gibbs White, I was going to do Gibbs White, so let's do him properly. Keep. I, just, I think that's probably fair enough. I hope that's not too controversial. Build the team around Morgan, quite honestly. That's all I've got to say. Okay, we're going to go with Nicolas Dominguez. I'm going to say keep as well. He could leave. There's been rumours that he could leave, but um, I don't want him to. I think he's a good player. He had injuries at the second half of the season, inconsistency sometimes, especially away, but it's clearly a good player there. Willie Bolley just signed a new contract. He's definitely one we need to be keeping. I think it's already kind of been confirmed because of that new contract that he is going to stay um, just so long as he stays fit, but this is why we need to get into the centre-back because he might not always be fit. He's only going to get older as well, so not sure how crucial he'll be next season, but still someone we, we definitely need around. Next up, let's just do the contract expired straight away. Well, not straight away because I've done a few other players first, but Cuarte, Hennessy, Scott McKenna and Felipe. Scott McKenna's genuinely very sad that he's left. A, a hero, a genuine hero of Forrest. Getting us promoted, um, player of the season that year. Yeah, really sad how it ended for Scott. And hopefully he just gets a good club and he can kick on. Let's fill the loan category. And to be honest, it's probably the only one I'm going to put in loan. It's Brandon Aguilera. Only I could see a case for keeping him. Because if you're looking at our wingers, we've got Alango and hudson Doy. We do need a winger, in my opinion. Definitely to definitely take weight off those two and also because I think sometimes those two are always the answer. So you could actually, you know, keep Aguilera around. I would not mind it at all. I, I just think maybe another loan, maybe a championship loan, upper level would be a good move for him. Josh Bowler, yeah, this sell is literally no point. Like, yeah, he's not got a future, has he? Next up, we're going to go for Chris Wood. I like this tactic of just picking at random. Chris Wood, Definitely keep. I mean, without his goals, we would undoubtedly have been relegated. I don't think that's at all 
um, wrong to say. We would have been relegated without Chris Wood's goals. I know he's ageing. I know he had a poor run towards into the season. Yes, we need someone else, especially if we lose a Wani. You obviously need somebody else. But Wood 100% should be staying. Let's get the keepers out of the way. There's been reports that Forrest want to replace Matt Sells. I think that's incredibly brutal, if I'm honest. I really think that's harsh. I think Sells has been excellent for Forrest. If we're going to have to keep one, it would be Matt Turner. Only, again, I don't think either of them are going to want to stay. Because they were both signed to be a potential number one. Rashid Emos has become a third choice. And he's terrible, so let him go. Turner is also terrible, but also has done the odd good thing. But again, it's, I don't think there's any point in keeping either of them in that. I just don't think it's going to work. So for me, I'd be happy with still staying in there and sign another keeper. Andrew Oma Um I definitely said that right. I... I I could see why someone would say loan, because if we sign another centre-back, you've then got Murillo, Bolly, Nier Carte still around. Wall's not going to be here all, but certainly. Um, so you could say loan for that reason. You know, Omar oh, Baladelli could be pushed down, but because of Bolly's age, can he play as much? Nier Carte's been linked with a move away as well. He's also a bit inconsistent, so... No, I'm going to change that. I, I would genuinely want to keep him around Adele. I think he did well whenever he played. Obviously, keep Murillo. That's standard procedure. Brazilian wonder kid. Um, yeah, I just really hope that Morgan and Murillo are both here next season. It's as simple as that. Same for Callum hudson Adoy. Really, really kicked on as the season continued. Um, yeah, definitely need to be keeping him. He'd be stupid to leave. He just found a home at Forest. Joe Worrell. This is difficult, man, because I don't want to lose Wall because of what he's done for this club. For me, I'll always have a lot of respect for Wall. He was a big part of the squad for many years. I don't think you can lose sight of that. I just don't think you can. But has he got a future here? I just don't think so. I'd actually really love him to completely prove us all wrong, but I very much doubt that's going to happen. I'm really not sure about Nia Carte. I think Nia Carte is a... I really like him as a, as a person. Comes across as a real professional and a leader, honestly. But as a player, he can be very, very unconvincing. I want to keep Nia Carte. But I also 100% see a case for letting one of Nia Carte or Big Andy leave. Ola Aina signed a new deal, so he's definitely staying. Yeah, one of the best bits of free business I think we've done in some time. Harry Toffolo, I've also mentioned him. I want to keep Harry. I'm being, I'm being too sentimental, I know. But I could see a case for letting him go. Okay, maybe it doesn't make sense putting him and Richards and Aina all in keep. For me, I want to keep Toffolo. So you've got a few players in that keep category that, yeah, I, I'm not too sure about whether they should stay or not. So... It's up for debate. Nico Williams, though, is definitely one we should be keeping. That's undoubted, in my opinion. Yeah, unreal season last year. Um, yeah, honestly, I think that right back spot is his, so long as he keeps up this form. Lewis O'Brien also should be selling. It's a shame because he started out really well at Forest and then he just got completely discarded, went to Burr on loan, did well. Um, but yeah, I think the championship is his level, really. Maybe the same for Jonathan Panzo. I mean, another promotion winner, actually. You forget the one promotion with us. Definitely sell. Got no future. Same for Alex Mighton. It's really sad because he had so much potential, Mighton. Uh, strangely, under Chris Hewton with his best period. I hate saying that, but yeah, just, it's sad with Mighton, but it is what it is. Alanga. Yeah, definitely keep Alanga. Um, can be a bit frustrating at times. I think we need someone else to support him and Hudson Adoy, but yeah undoubtedly keep a langer. Some might not like this, but I think it's a no-brainer. Yatesy. You've got to keep Yates. I don't know why people are so brutal on him. Yes, he's not the most gifted footballer by any means at all. If you're talking about technical ability, he's probably one of the lowest in the squad. And he had games this season where he wasn't the right solution. He wasn't the right option, but he had plenty of games where he was. You know, he ended the season well. So, it would be stupid, and I think we could be giving him a new deal anyway, so he's going to be here. Danilo, definitely keep. I think you're noticing a theme, the fact that we just stayed in the Premier League, and there's so many in keep. It just shows that there's a good squad. It just needs consistency 
a little bit added to it, nothing mental like we normally do. Smart business, and this squad can go to a new level. I think it, I really think that. One more in sell, some might want to keep. I could see a reason for keeping, but Emmanuel Dennis. Now the winger situation, maybe you could have Dennis as a backup. But for me, I just think it's a ship that sailed. I wouldn't mind having a look at him in pre-season, but I just feel there's not really much point. Like, is he any better than Hudson Odoi? Definitely not. Is he any better than Alanga? No. So, is he better than Origi? Origi's not here. <sighs> he can't do any worse. So let's just say that. But was Origi good enough? No. So will Dennis be good enough? Probably not. I hope you see what I'm saying there. One more player though, and this is someone that I slated. So I'm not just being too sentimental. Either him, Sangara. I will keep hold of him. I think we need to give him more of a chance. I know he's had ultimately he has played a fair few games, but he's he's worked off scraps a lot of the time. And I don't really know what's happened with him. Whether he just didn't suit English football, the Afcon got in the way. Yeah, he certainly didn't have a very good start. He had a couple of games um, where he did well. Newcastle, I thought he did well away from home. Uh, and the Cooper, I think that's that Villa win he did pretty well in. But other than that, very underwhelming. But we're basing that off the price tag. Ignore the fact there's another Nicolas Dominguez. That's that's irrelevant. What do you think to that, everyone? As I said, there's a few grey areas. There's a few players that I could easily put into the categories. It's just my take. But it does show, like I say, the squad is clearly quality. It's clearly got quality in it, I should say. Because this is a team that just stayed up. And look at how many are in keep. Please, Forrest, just be smart with your business and don't sign another 12 players. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to Rads. And yes, um, obviously there'll be probably less content for a few weeks because it's still off season. There's still videos like this, so I hope you've enjoyed. Up the Reds, thank you.